you are in packaging and then you enter leisure and entertainment it is not a logical step to go from packaging toothpaste to getting into leisure and entertainment can you help us understand how that migration took place the neither did grain trading to packaging was <laughs> was any logic <laughs> and uh, this is a known fact that we haven't uh, spent much money on the consultants to ask them what next i should do you know so once the as i told you that sl packaging or sl pro pack when it was profitable and when it was running well uh, my youngest brother ashok goel was involved with this and so he fully took over and i was unemployed and so and we had bought a large piece of land in bombay suburb and what can be done to that and what what should we do in that property was the question and uh, it is a kind of defined as no development zone and in that you could build amusement park you could build few other things so amusement park was one thing which had attracted me much earlier when i visited some of these so called uh, amusement facilities and so we started working that and that's where sl world was born can you go relate back in that time what, what do you think was happening around in the indian context that you think made sl world the success that it is i mean was it the right thing at the right time and if so what why was it why was that the right time to do it or did you make it the right time i wouldn't call it the right thing right time uh, but it was something which one felt that mumbai as a city you see it's a small it's a island and uh, people live in this city they they don't have either the roof or the or the ground they are hanging in the flats in between <laughs> and hardly any green trees in in mumbai city so i think uh, it was it was combination of all the things because of my unemployment this land being available and then when amusement park we thought we we did a survey also we the sl word was name was not because of the group's name was sl because we designed the five phases of this park we actually did a naming contest in the city which was participated by more than 30000 people hmm. and one such name appeared was sl world so they described entertainment sports and science exhibition land that's how the abbreviation sl was uh, done in this context what what were the what were the principles that you used to put together a team because this is a very consumer oriented business this is entertainment it's a different dna help us understand how you put together the team what what i did was uh, i looked around and there there is every year an exhibition or a uh annual conference exhibition come annual conf- conference called ipa and uh, before we started working on it i visited that and there i was looking around uh, who were the people who could help us to set up such an facility and we picked up three four talked to all three four of them we chose uh, blackpool pressure beach of uh, uk as our consultant and architects so to speak and they helped us put together they also in fact trained our initial team and managers can you talk a little bit about the origins of uh, eil as you know sl infra uh, infra infra projects limited uh, because this company has done projects in over 70 centers in in india just could you help us understand because you moved from you know now doing a consumer oriented thing to projects business this migration has come about 
mostly if you look at uh, sl packaging sl word z uh, entertainment or anything they are all mostly kind of service industry and uh, um, and the families were growing we have amongst four brothers uh, next generations were growing so i said we should have some business which is kind of more of annuity kind of business and uh, should have asset base also if you look at other things hardly any assets are being much not much of a too much of a capex kind of a thing and uh, i think somewhere inside me also there is a bug of uh, national interest if i may say so which uh, was telling me always that why we are lacking in infrastructure or whether it is roads or whether it is anything so why can't we help also build that so both of the things uh, and we experimented with roads first slowly grew that business now we are certainly uh, in many verticals over there and again uh, as you have seen my history of these 40 odd years is to bring first time things in india uh, we venture into nine new things out of that uh, four succeeded succeeded five didn't 1992 you founded uh, ztv now there have been books written and long stories about uh, the in, in the exchange that you had with uh, star and what happened and how it came about what was the circumstances that uh, led you to start uh, ztv this uh, sl world amusement park which as i said earlier that uh, we had done surveys and uh, uh business was plan was made according to that investment was made according to that the first year of completion was uh uh calendar 1990 january 90 to december 90 and at december 90 we the total up guest visitors were only uh 1 million 1.1 million whereas uh, the market estimate was 3 plus million so we said why why people are not coming uh, so things came out was a lack of infrastructure because roads and other things were connectivity was poor two these uh, bureaucrats imposed entertainment tax which was uh, 150% third one was that people uh, wanted they wanted entertainment but they wanted it closer their homes so all the three things uh, gave birth to z so in that in that frame of reference in that state of the industry you launch ztv going back to those times what was the brand that you were trying to create then see as i mentioned when during the sl world time that these people put 150% entertainment tax there was no logic i mean middle class uh, children were coming families were coming and you are imposing 150% on that uh, amusement so i wanted to expose these people <laughs> so that's how and i had that in back of my mind i wanted to entertain also to people so i had in mind that ztv would be having news also it will have entertainment also it will have movies also and that's what we created actually